Okay, so I let iodine out to play, free range. It's a hamster proof room, there's no problem, never been any problems at all. No holes in the wall, no nothing. Made sure, always make sure to check that. Somehow, iodine has ended up in the top of that wardrobe, in the cavity behind it. Yeah. Does this give you throwbacks to when Professor Fatface got stuck under the floorboards? I'm coming for you, Io. You Don't worry, work? sweetheart. I really hope there's no wires behind here. There shouldn't be. <laughs> Sorry, neighbours. Sorry, landlord. Sorry, Goodbye, Iodine. Deposit. There's sniffles coming from that corner. She's moved across the wall. I imagine the same oh, scared Oh my gosh. You're not ready to be wild. Come back. <gasps> no, she's back in here again. It's obviously one long cavity then. Where is the cavity? You know what we should test for? If she knocks back. <laughs> There must be a really tiny one then. Can you hear her screaming? Yeah. I've upset her. I'm it's sorry, sweetie. Out. I'm rescued. No, it's too late now. I've started this. I'm trying to make as little damage as possible while saving the house. We lost the deposit the first time you put up a painting. I can fix this. I can. I have. I have the skills. Uh huh. To fix this. Wood filler. What's the time? Like <laughs> ten o'clock. It's rescue o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you set me up. Okay, so I've drilled as far into there as I can go and I'm still not getting through the wood. It is really, really, really quite thick. So now what I'm gonna do is take the smallest drill that I have, I'm gonna take the smallest drill that I have and I'm going to basically drill around the outline of the hole I've already made and hopefully that should be enough to just pop it out. Or it might be enough to irritate the neighbors. It might be, um, but hopefully then it's not big enough for me to put my hand in just a little bit too small, but it should be big enough for iodine to get out of uh, without too much effort. Here we go. Come. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Whoa, that was a big bit of concrete I kept hitting into. Yeah. The cavity is just below it. Yep, I see. Iodine! Come here, sweetheart. Oh, come on, sweetie. Best we stay quiet for a bit. Let's hope she works her own way through. She's on the floor. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You you to explain to me how the heck you did that how you got up how you got back down again come back I cannot believe that I spent nearly an hour destroying the wall the cupboard to try and rescue her and she just turns up at my side like hey dude what's up what's going on why are you drilling the hole uh, the good news is I have located the hole that she used to get inside the wall in the first place. It is in a bizarre place. There's, there's no wonder I missed this. I think most people would have. But if you look under the cupboard down here, you can see this, uh, this border runs all the way along the bottom. You can see if I can actually light it up properly. Uh, it is, you know, the, the cupboard goes right to the floor, except for in this corner here. Oops. Yeah, you can see there. That's how she got in. That's how she got out again. So, yeah, I'm gonna block that up. And I'm going to do yet another scan around the room for any bizarre holes into the wall. Yeah. So the lesson for today's video, no matter how safe you are, no matter how careful you are, no matter what you do for your hamsters, no matter how much you love them, hamsters will always be butt hats. I'm just going to, uh, sit here and contemplate what's happened.
and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.